Question number three is, how does your conventional heating system work now? I think before we take the journey into renewable heating, it's really important that we understand what you have now, how it works, and how it all pieces together. So the majority of people use gas central heating. There are a few who use oil and LPG. It doesn't really matter what the fuel is. Essentially, you've got a boiler, which is normally mounted in a kitchen cupboard or maybe on the floor in a utility room. And inside there, is essentially a ring, very, very similar to the ring that you have on the top of your cooker. So if you imagine when you go to your cooker and you turn the gas on, you light the gas, you can see the burner burning, you take your pan with some water in and maybe some potatoes, stick it on top of the ring, and eventually, of course, that will start to boil. Well, inside your boiler, it's essentially the same mechanism. There is essentially a gas ring. Um, there's definitely no saucepan and there are definitely no potatoes. But essentially, we're gonna bring water in in pipes. We run them backwards and forwards across the flame. The heat from the flame heats the water and using a pump, we push that lovely warm water around your house into your radiators. So now what I want to do is show you a couple of different types of systems which you're going to see in your house. So in the diagram you can see a conventional boiler system. So it starts off with a boiler, the big white box. Inside you have your pump and your burner as we've discussed. And out of the bottom come a couple of pipes. So they then disappear into the house. A couple of them are going to go to your hot water cylinder if you have one. Um, and the others are gonna go off into your radiators around the house. Some people have multiple zones with a different zone upstairs and a different zone downstairs, but essentially all the systems are inherently the same as you can see in this diagram. So essentially, if I'm oversimplifying, what we're going to do when we make you go from a fossil fuel to a renewable heating system is we're literally going to turn up take that boiler away and replace it with a heat pump. If only it were, that was that simple, we would literally turn up, replace one with the other and walk away as you can see in the next graphic here. But unfortunately, the world of heat pumps isn't quite that simple. So heat pumps are a little bit more complicated than boilers and often we have to have some extra pieces of equipment installed at the same time, which the engineers will find and they have to tuck away somewhere inside your house. And later in the course, we're gonna talk about each of these components one after the other. 